All right, here we are in beautiful Brashov and hopefully preparing an interesting vlog for you today. First things first, shout out to Luca. Always busy, always a lineup at Luca. <laughs> now, on our channel, as you guys know, <coughs> we don't do political stuff. We are certainly not in the business of telling you how you ought to live. I say be free, do what you like. But we are going to do a historical vlog here today about the politics here in Romania and how this very interesting uh, history maybe is manifesting itself today in what we've noticed about Romanians in our many months of traveling here. Mm -hmm. So this vlog is about the history of the communist regime in Romania and how we've grown to really love and admire the Romanian fighting spirit. Yeah. And all of the different ways that potentially this uh, history is manifesting itself today while still maintaining do what you like it's not political what do i know i look like i'm hosting a, a, a fishing and hunting t television channel right now <laughs> so what do i know but uh we are going to start our vlog at a place we've showed you before which is the bullet holes in the side of the building here and a quick refresher would be the early 90s, actually 1989, the late 80s, the communist regime was losing support like crazy and people were protesting in many different cities, including right here in Brasov. And so you can imagine this area right here being full of protesters, being full of Romanian people who had simply had enough and were willing to fight against the regime at which point the government fell back to the building just around the corner and began shooting bullets into the crowd and some of those bullets ended up in the wall right here so it says in memoria revolution din december 1989 my translation would be in memory of the revolution december 1989 and so this was uh pretty indefensible action by the government you can imagine peaceful protesters sort of doing their thing uh, and bullets being unloaded upon them this is something that is not acceptable obviously yeah and so let's keep this sort of event in our minds as we journey to our next destination and begin to uncover more of the romanian communist regime history the fight to freedom the fight to freedom let's go And so here we are at the Communist Museum. I think you can tell by the graffiti on the former communist leader, Ceausescu. I think you can tell by the graffiti on his face, this is not going to be the good parts of communism. This is going to be the not so favorable parts. Let's check it out. All right, first museum I've been to where you are encouraged to pick stuff up and look at it. I really was concerned that the lady at the front was playing a trick on me because one thing I've learned is Romanians humor is a little bit different than most of the countries I've been to. But in fact, you are encouraged to sit on the chairs if you'd like or maybe open the drawers of the cabinets. You're even encouraged to take these plaques off the wall and go read them with your friend. And so one of the proof of the fact that Romanian sense of humor is different is all of these jokes that are written on the wall. Um, this particular joke is alluding to how uneducated the Ceausescos were with of course the Ceausescos being the dictator and his family. Uh, <laughs> it's not every day you see this sort of stuff in the museum and one thing I've really grown to appreciate from Romanians is the lack of sensitivity. The way the information is presented here, uh, I believe what they're trying to say is because the 80s were so difficult and the shelves on the grocery store were more and more empty, uh, the Romanian people used these jokes as a way to sort of overcome and they really developed a 
uh, insensitivity to words. Now, as a YouTuber, I'm always doing these blah blah to the camera. And sometimes I just get it wrong. I'm releasing like an hour a week or more of me talking and going to new places. And so I've grown to love Romanians because when I get it wrong, they're not offended. So many countries I've been to, people think words are very, almost like violence, where I think because the 80s were so difficult for Romanians and they were able to overcome, they sort of know what suffering is and they don't think words are the source of suffering. In fact, the entire front section of the museum is a sort of dark and twisted joke about how in 1977 there was an earthquake that killed 1,500 people. And the entire front section of the museum is sort of saying, if you think the earthquake was shaky, you should have seen our government in the 80s. Which is sort of a funny joke, but it's not every day you see people sort of poking fun at their own uh, earthquake that killed 1500 people this natural disaster so in this museum you've got lots of good information uh, lots of good day-to-day -day sort of home life about what it was like in the 80s trying to overcome this uh, lying dictator who had increasingly empty shelves in the grocery store um, I didn't realize that Brashal was actually called Stalin City so I learned that and uh, it was nice to see some evidence as to why Romanians have this spirit of not being sensitive to words because it's really nice for a YouTuber to be around people who are just not sensitive to words and it seems like the reason is because Romanians actually know real suffering. I mean it's only 40 years ago in the 80s and they've really overcome this tremendous thing. Now next we're going to go to the actual place where Ceausescu was shot and executed. Uh, because he was found guilty of uh, a bunch of things. So let's go there and uh, finish up the blog. <sighs> what a great museum. Really, really, five star museum. Alright, so we've left Brashov and we are now in a small city, I believe pronounced Targoviste. We've just walked through this museum, which has one room that shows you where Ceausescu and his wife were waiting and sleeping as they were waiting for their trial. Really simple room with not much to look at, sort of makes you wonder what was going through Ceausescu's head and his wife's head as they were waiting for trial. Were they certain they would be found innocent or were they nervous or sort of an amazing place to stand? And then you can go see the actual trial room where they were found guilty. And again, a very simple room with some wooden tables and some little placards showing you who was sitting where. And after they were found guilty, within a few days of the verdict, the Ceausescu's were brought here stood in front of this wall and executed and in true romanian fashion they were executed on christmas day and so we've heard so many romanians joking around about what a gift we were given that year best christmas ever and so as far as tourism goes ivana and i like doing stuff like this it's very interesting for us to see these type of things when we travel although we're usually nervous to make a video about it mm -hmm. because it's heavy stuff you have to think the 80s was not that long ago Right. That's right. I'm 30 years old. My parents would have been adults living through this. Uh, right. The way they raised me would have somehow been different had they been through this thing where increasingly in the 80s the, the grocery stores are empty and then you get the protests and then you get people shooting guns into peaceful, peaceful protest and then finally it ends with uh, Ceausescu being shot and his wife on Christmas Day. So we're usually nervous to make videos like this because a lot of people are always offended by something. Right. This is why we chose Romania because we're feeling confident people in Romania have these jokes about anything. They're not offended by words. So in the end, we really 
wanted to show you guys this yeah. because we've had such a good experience traveling Romania. Yeah, we like Romania, so we also like to learn the history of the country and this is part of the history. This is what makes Romania what it is today. Absolutely so, right. And we love the people as well in Romania. So this also shaped the way how the country is right now economically, the people, the culture, yeah. everything. This is an important part of the history. So we want to learn about it more. Exactly yeah. right. We sort of showed up in Romania and we immediately really were taken aback by the people, always joking around, always friendly, joking at their own expense, also joking yeah. once they got to know us, joking with us in a way that was like very... Yeah. And we um, thought this is very interesting. And so it's interesting to see how that sort of came yeah. to be. To tie in the people, the present people with the past yeah. history. And to imagine that a lot of the people we have met in Romania have gone through this hardship. Absolutely. It's only the this, 80s. Yeah. It's not that long ago. It's not that long ago. So um, now we understand more why Romanian people are the way they are. They are brave. They are strong. They love freedom. So this is why. Absolutely yeah. right, Ivana. That was a good message to end on. The, the Romanian spirit. The, Romanian. the fighting spirit of the uh, Romanians. Because as you can see, a very unceremonious end to the Ceausescu reign and yet the Romanian spirit endures so there you have it guys uh, we didn't exactly have a reason to come here it's not exactly near anything the no, yeah, we, we just would, sort of drove here yeah. just to see this you can go stand in the room where Ceausescu and his wife are on trial it's like the most unceremonious yeah. non-official to imagine that Ceausescu built the biggest building in the world in Bucharest yeah. so grand and his final experience was so not grand. That's true. Uh, wow. Really goes to show you what it was like in communist Romania. Romania. All right, okay. there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching our video. Just a simple one today, but we wanted to tie in some history with mm -hmm. the amazing Romanian people we've come to love in uh, That's right. this fantastic country. All right, later.